Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Raw Motive. You know, the Toyota Tacoma still has this problem. I thought I had escaped it, and I'm going to fix it. What I'm talking about has to do with the seat, particularly the driver's seat. I don't know that it's an issue in the passenger side, but that's probably only because I rarely have passengers in here. I certainly don't drive the truck from the passenger seat myself. Now, what I'm talking about is the angle. You know, I had thought that when Toyota went with the 10-way power adjustable seats, which I had in my last truck, that they solved that problem. That since you'd be able to move it all kinds of different ways, you really wouldn't have any issues with angles anymore. But as I've been driving this truck a little more, and I think I'm driving it a little more than I drove the other one, the magnetic gray that I had, I've noticed that there is still a problem I can't get rid of. Now, what it is, is the angle of the seat. And you know, a little while back, I think it was in my Voodoo Blue and then my Barcelona Red, maybe, probably just the Voodoo Blue Tacoma, I had an issue where it always felt to me like the back end was sitting too far down, I guess. I or it's something weird, I don't know. It needed to be raised up. Like I felt like I was this and I could never get rid of it. You know, like I was always looking up in the air. So I put spacers, homemade spacers in myself. I know there are those out on the market you can buy, blocks of aluminum, that's what they really are. They're hugely expensive. So anyway, I made my own. I had two iterations of it. Once I used washers, and the second time, or first time actually, I used like a one inch round spacer. I put those on and it solved my problem. It gave me a better angle. I was actually comfortable in the truck. But now it seems I have the opposite problem. It seems like the front of the seat points too far down. Like I'm sitting like this at my leg level, of course. I realize I'm really not up here. And I've tried to adjust the seat. I've moved it umpteen different ways, tried it a million different times. And by the way, I hate adjusting seats because when you do that, it seems like you never get it comfortable again. You know, there's that first time you get it right and then somebody either gets in and moves it. I hate when you take it in for like an oil change or something. And then for some reason, the tech decides they need to be perfectly comfortable while they're moving your car 10 feet. Why do they do that? I can understand if they're like six foot eight. Well, they gotta be able to fit in here. But otherwise, an average or normal sized person, just get in it, leave the seat alone and move it. It's not like you're taking it on a cross country tour where you're gonna be sitting in it for hours little pet peeve of mine. But anyway, the front of the seat to me seems like it's pointing down. So my first thought was to, well, just put some washers in like I've done before. But I made a discovery. The bracketry in the front of the seats in the Tacoma actually is like this sort of. It comes out and then it kind of hooks down. And when it hooks down right here into the floor is where it's attached or bolted in. So you really can't put washers on there because all you would do is put the washers in between that little bent part and the floor itself. It doesn't do anything to change the angle of the seat, nor would you really be able to even put them in. I mean, you'd have to move the seat forward to accommodate room for the washers. That's not gonna work for me. I was not happy. I was all set, man. I was gonna go to the Lowe's, might have even had, I think I had some washers left. Was gonna go ahead and do it. I would have had to buy, I have bought longer screws. So that's when uh, I decided now nah, it's time. I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and pick up some of these seat spacer things or those little blocks that you can get to change the angle. I went out looking on the web and man, are they expensive. And I saw some that for a pair was as much as like 150 bucks, something like that. And I'm thinking, good God, man, they're only aluminum blocks. Granted, they do have to be cut. They have to be drilled in the one that I'm gonna get, which you'll see down the road here. Uh, I don't have it yet. But the one that I'm getting uh, actually has two threaded holes in it because the way that it works, it has that bend and then the flat part and the whole thing is about an inch, I think it's an inch and a quarter taller. And I'm a little worried that that's gonna be too much, but eh, it's all I could find. So it has two holes uh, threaded. They're threaded holes in it because the front hole, you actually 
screw into your existing hole, which means you can use the existing uh, screw, by the way. You don't have to buy another screw for that. And then where the bracket itself actually screws in uh, above, they provide a screw for, and that's how it's held down. So you really have two uh, shear points. And I say shear points because I know a lot of people worry about the safety of these devices. And as I always say in these videos, you know, never install a mod that you're not comfortable with. If you're afraid of it, if you're unsure of it, then simply don't do it. I mean, I've never put anything on my truck that I wasn't confident in. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. So always keep that in mind. For me, the metal block, not that big of a deal. It's, it's an aluminum, solid aluminum CNC machine piece of aluminum. Uh, I'm not concerned about that. The screws, you probably really should make sure they're at least, what is it, a grade eight or whatever the higher shear strength screw is. And you can look that up on the web. You probably always should make sure that uh, you're using that. Although I will say that doesn't really concern me either. I think if you're going to take some sort of an impact that is strong enough to straight across shear off a bolt and have the seat belt fail, you know, you and your seat are belted into the car with the seat belt. Your seat belt does not connect to your seat. It connects to the body of the car. That means if the seat for some reason were to break loose, all four bolts were to break loose, your seat belt is still holding you and that seat in the car. So you can imagine what kind of catastrophic event would have to occur. I mean, it's like you'd have to hit a wall at 150 mile an hour or something. I mean, it would have to be really bad. So that's why it doesn't bother me too much. I understand the physics of it. Not really a big deal. Again, don't do it if you're not comfortable with it. Makes sense, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. I have one, actually a, a set, because there's one for each side on order. I'm not doing anything with the passenger side over there. Really would be overkill for me. I don't think it's necessary. If I had somebody that rode with me all the time over there in that seat, and they told me it was really bugging them and really uncomfortable, then I'd spend the money. And speaking of money, this set is gonna cost me, I think it's around 85 to $95. I don't remember right off the top of my head. When the, the video comes out, there will be uh, some information on that. So if anybody's interested in it, you can grab it yourself. So that's what I'm doing. I am going to solve a, an issue that really Toyota should have done themselves that still persists in the Toyota Tacoma. Leave a comment, let me know. Have you noticed this? Are you still having problems getting comfortable even with the 10-way power adjustable seats? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.